Tracy thinks that, that Taylor Fritz can do it. Could somebody else get to the final eight there as well? I feel like, I mean, Fritz has checked off a lot of boxes this year, winning his first Masters 1000, getting to the second week at majors, a quarterfinal at a major, had never done that before. But when you look at some of those other young players, whether it's Jensen Brooksby, whether it's Riley Opelka, Francis Tiafo, he's made a quarter at a major, just not in New York. I would have said Riley Opelka. Now you look at Riley's results as of late. He's lost a lot early and he's, you know, he's ranked in the top 20. He could get hot. Uh, you know, that high bouncing serve. He still has plenty of weeks, a few tournaments to play before the U.S. Open. So sure, give him a chance. But his results have to start to, to, to get better before the U.S. Open. I still think that Fritz, the way that he has improved, he's always believed in himself. But I think now he believes in himself at the biggest moments against the best players. I think he's stronger than he's ever been. He's moving better. He's gotten over a couple of injuries. His serve is always good. I just think that belief goes a long way. I think the American players at their best can beat almost anybody when they're playing their best. It's just that it's not consistent every day. They don't come every day in three out of five sets. Obviously, John Isner and Riley Opelka, first of all, when you're seven feet tall and serving like they do, you can beat anybody on a given day. Three out of five sets makes it more tough mm -hmm. because makes it more difficult because that big guy's got to come back and play three out of five sets again, and often they play long matches. Francis Tiafo to me, is amazing, but he always has a two-second downward swing during a match at a time, and, and sometimes that makes him lose the matches. It's just difficult to say which one of our guys, any of them could make the quarters. There's a lot of them. Any of them could make the quarters. Who will it be? I don't know. Is there a little opening because Novak presumably won't be able to play? Totally, and yeah. And Zverev, will he be back in time? And if he is back in time, will he be healthy enough and playing well enough because of his injuries?